Hey y'all, welcome to Daily Glitter. So, I had did y'all reading on Vigo, and I tried to record it, and the shit didn't work. So, we gonna do this on Instagram. Now, the weather is okay at this time, but if it does start to rain, we're gonna have to get the fuck up. So, this is a lifestyle channel. Everything's gonna be okay, alright? So, we're gonna start with fire signs. Um... And, and um, I'm going to go ahead and just tell y'all what they said for fire signs. They said that y'all need to work on your root chakra. Um, you know what I'm saying? That y'all weren't grounded enough. Um, so we're going to see if, if what comes out. I didn't get a prayer for everybody. So we, this, this is going to be a very quick day glitter today because I've already done it. Okay. So we're just going to do it like this here. Leo. Leo. Now, I know last week was a very hard week for everybody. You know what I'm saying? With the, in regards to the, oh shit, sorry. I know everything was hard, like, because there's a lot of change. Like, a lot of people going through a lot of rebirth symptoms, ascension symptoms, headaches, fatigue, all that shit. Just all that symptoms and shit. This came out in the first reading. All right, Leos. The new perspective, and I told you, you guys need to, all fire signs need to work on their um, on their root chakra. Um, and they said for Leos, it was that you guys were like, you guys were very uneasy. Page of Swords, new perspective, like being uneasy about it. But see, this is what they really wanted to tell y'all why to keep telling why they keep telling y'all need to be grounded because the wheel is turning in ten of wands. Put the burdens down. Put the burdens down. You shouldn't be uneasy about anything right now. Because the energy that you have with the universe and yourself, you see the high priestess came out. That's intuition. You keep following the intuition, it'll help you bring the energy into the cup of balance. Either this is with you or another person, but that's exactly what they say. Why are you so uneasy? That's exactly what they said for Leo. Alright? Aries. Aries. Aries, um, y'all reading was uh, slow up. Y'all need to slow up. Like, mentally, y'all need to slow up. Okay, slow up, Aries. 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 Slow up, Aries. You know also what it was that you need to be grounded because they are you're you're first of all they you need to be patient with yourself okay Aries you need to be patient with yourself that's exactly what they said what's up y'all you need to be patient with yourself okay that's why they keep saying slow up just slow up and the king of pentacles wants to come and the five of swords came out early with that mental shit slow up Aries because you got eight of one I'm telling you a lot of y'all got that page of swords that new perspective new shit that's what came out also, Aries, at this time, Aries, y'all are healing. You are healing. You are healing. Because now, you know why, you, and you know why they keep saying, they kept saying slow up? Because there's no, there's no, there's, you don't need to worry. You don't need to worry. Eight of Wands, Four of Swords, I mean, yeah, Four of Swords, Page of Swords, in itself is, is fast communication coming your way, Aries. And I'm telling you, that's why they need you to heal right now. The new perspective that you have, you need to heal. It's a lot of downloads coming to you guys right now. It's a lot of fast type of wand. It's a lot of movement around um, uh, Aries right now. Communication, like things are, you'll get the answers, okay? And if you stay in this, with, I don't want to say stay in this, but if you have this Queen of Swords energy in the forefront of what's coming to you, you'll be able to decipher what is bullshit and what is not. Slow up, Aries. King of Pentacles. Stability. You can't make the shit up, y'all. Slow up. You get what I'm trying to say? You, And you know what they also keep saying in my head? Um, do you not believe in you? Do you not believe in you? Like what they keep saying, Aries. Okay, Sagittarius.
Sagittarius. That's great. Do you not believe in you, Aries? Shit. I resonate with that message strongly today, honey. Because that's what I was in a couple days ago. Like, was I not believing in myself that I could do this? Like, did I stop believing that I could be making shit happen by myself, that I'm co-creating with the universe? Like, you get what I'm trying to say? Yep, that, that Five of Pentacles came out for Sag, too. And Capricorn. Two of Cups. I told y'all, Sag, Sag, you need to bring balance. You need to ground yourself, honey. You have a new... You have a new perspective. You have a new perspective, Sagittarius. You have a new perspective on how to bring balance into those cups, how to pour into those cups, either with somebody or with spirit, okay? But you have a new perspective. So you maintaining in this five of pentacles energy it's not needed, Sagittarius. It's really not. You're overdoing it. You're overdoing it. Hence why all of y'all's fucking reading was the fact that you need to ground your root chakra. The cherry. Come on. You can't make this shit up. Root chakra. Ground yourself. If you go read root chakra affirmations, you'll know. You don't know. Sagittarius. Is there anything else for Sagittarius? Ten of Cups, Four of Pentacles. You'll know, okay? Four of Pentacles, security. Ten of Cups. Happiness and bliss, Sagittarius. Like, come on. You can't. You're not. You have a new perspective. Ground your energy fire signs. Like everybody needs to, everybody needs, first of all, you need to do something with the color red. That is root, that is the root chakra. It's funny how I wanted to do a red hat today, okay? I'm trying to tell you, you need to ground yourself. You need to be secure with yourself. You need to. You can't function like that. You just, you can't. You can't function like that, fire sign. You cannot ignite what you need to ignite in that, in that, mentality of not being grounded. I don't know what the fuck just happened. But you, you just can't. You need to say this to yourself. My body is a safe home for my radiant spirit. My body is a safe home for my radiant spirit. All right, fire signs. Let's go um, air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I think air signs needed to work on their own. Um, I think air signs need to work on their crown chakra. I think it was the crown chakra. Air sign, Gemini. Gemini. Yeah, I think y'all needed to work on y'all crown chakra. Something about the self expression, something about self. Gemini. This three of swords came out for Gemini in the last reading. Now you got three of swords, four of swords, and five of swords. Gemini. Yeah, y'all gotta work on y'all crown shot. The chariot. Y'all have to. Working on your crown chakra allows brings you victory. First, it brings you victory. Then it will put you in the temperance energy, sad energy, patience. Conflicts are no longer 
and then nine o'clock. But you need to you need to ground your head. You got three, four, and five. Cats hurt. Let it go. Confusion. Let it go. Let it go. Four swords. Heal it. Gemini's, you got to heal it. You got three, four, and five. Heal it. And then you got the cherry. Once you heal it, that's what brings you the victory. Mm -hmm. Y'all need to, I'm telling y'all gotta work on y'all crown chakra. Libra. 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 Pentacles comes out again, and I put it back, and they kept. It's like they was like, "No, that take it." Five of Pentacles that lack. I'm telling you, you gotta get that. It's like it's a mental thing right now, for Arizona. Four Wands. It's gonna bring you into union. I'm telling you, it's a mental thing with y'all right now. Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior. It's like a nervous type of feeling. Man. I feel nervous right now. Only way you would feel nervous is if you don't, you wouldn't, you don't have that mental, you know what I'm saying? Like, ooh, something is itching me, but I don't know what it is. Four swords keeps coming out healing. Y'all need to work on y'all crown chakra. Like, y'all wouldn't feel so nervous. The cherry, again. That shit came out for Gemini, and it's coming out for y'all. With the hangman on the bottom of the deck, Libra. You need to follow what your heart is telling you and work on your crown chakra, that mental part of it, that mental stability. Yes, that mental stability, sweetie. Mental stability allows you to get into the four swords, healing that, those thoughts. You see how she's resting? Bringing the chariot. Come on. Get it up too. I think you got this in y'all last reading of like the whole, the whole um, page of swords, that new communication, that new thought. Y'all all need to work on y'all crown chakra. I'll do it. Ten of swords, new perspective, new way to communicate, new thought process. Right, takes you to the ten of swords completion. I'm being so nosy right now. I'm tripping. Yeah, I'm tripping. All right. <laughs> I'm like, is something on me? Aquarius. Relax your mind. 
you see how like I start like itching and moving? It's like you're distracted. You're distracted. Y'all you, need to work it out. I, and I say, I'm sorry. I, I just keep saying three of wands, five of wands. That's why I just said distractions. Yes, clear your mind. You see how she's with three of wands? It's waiting patiently. Clear your mind of the distractions. Anything else for Aquarius? I'm telling you, y'all distracted. It's like, y'all see how I just like got distracted about something that wasn't even there? Like, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Yes, Queen of Swords. Cutting out that distractions and shit and, and just out of your mind. Sword, thoughts, this is all in your mind. Mm -hmm. Anything else for Aquarius? Ten of Swords already came out. So it's giving me completion. It's giving me your, your finishing off shit. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Lex? It's too many. But y'all know what I'm trying to say. I gotta relax your mind, like, you know. You're, you're allowing the distractions to, to, to get into your head. Two of Swords, Three of Cups. You're allowing the distractions to get in your head. Two of Swords, Three of Cups. Celebration. I, I'm i pretty sure I told Air Signs to work on a crown chakra in Ombigo. Pretty sure. Y'all need to say this to yourself. I am a divine being. Everything is connected. I am connected to the universe. All is well. I'm at peace. All right, air signs. Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Ten of Pentacles was your first car already. Five of Cups. Nine of Wands, the Devil, Four of Swords. And the wheel on the bottom of the fucking deck. Taurus. I, damn, I can't remember. I hate when I can't Whatever, I guess whatever message that somebody would hear on Bigo, you know what I'm saying? They heard it. But Ten of Pentacles came out with the Five of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Devil, and the Four of Swords. This is what you want. This is your ultimate goal, right? In order for you to reach that goal, you're going to have to cut out this of, of a, that that lack loss, that wounded warrior energy. You're going to have to cut it out. You're going to have to cut it out. And you know the only way you're honestly going to be able to have to cut it out because. You know, I think one thing with Taurus is, Taurus are very stubborn to the fact that, like, it, I, don't, I don't want to say they're fully like Aquarius, but, like, Taurus sometimes, like, they kind of just brush the feelings off. And they're stubborn about the feelings. So instead of them being open, they become closed to the whole thing. So they close themselves off completely from feeling what needs to be felt to be healed. When you start doing, when you start cutting out this type of nervousness, that, that wounded warrior, the past, that loss and everything that's going on around you, when you start to get, cut that shit and heal that shit, ah, funny how you got the wheel on the bottom of the deck, the fool, the magician. Shut the fuck up. You can't make this shit. I'm telling you, I got the same shit on Vigo for Tori. That's why I'm so fucking bullheaded. Like, how you gonna be bullheaded and then still want happiness? How the fuck that work? Alright. <laughs> like, you gonna be stubborn about how the happiness comes. How that work? Alright. Um. Virgo. Four source comes out again for a lot of y'all. Healing. And, and you know what's so crazy? The, the collective message today was that y'all need to look out for seven. Damn. Y'all need to look out for sevens and elevens or ones because um, 
it was was it it was sevens and ones and it was a time for healing. Everybody need to work on those chakras. Mm -hmm. That came out in the daily in the, the collective reading that I did. Virgos, we keep going. And you know what's so crazy? This is also the energy that we're about to go into for Virgo season. I just want y'all to know that. Virgos. Yeah. I don't know what type of storm came last night, but it sure washed up a lot of shit around this motherfucker. <laughs> Virgo, four pinnacle, four pinnacle, excuse me, four swords, ace of swords, five of swords, king of pinnacles, six of cups. You know what this is giving me? It's giving me healing, brings new perspectives, okay? It allows you to reminisce honestly of everything that your heart desired. One second. Come on. Okay. It's giving me whatever your heart desires. Because the Six of Cups came out last. I don't feel like this is past. I feel like this is also a part of past life. Like you see how he how he's older now and he's thinking about how he was as a kid. I honestly feel like that's that's what's gonna bring Virgos out, out of the state of um you know how y'all are very practical, okay, and very serious, you know what I'm saying? You're very like, you know, mm -hmm -hmm. That I think that is exactly what's going to bring you into the king of, king, of Pen, king of Pentacles energy. Because you have that, you've healed from the past, right? You've healed the hurt from the past. But you've gained a new perspective about the past, right? Which has now brought you out of confusion, or will bring you out of confusion. The, the longer you, the, the more time you take to heal and to think about all the things that your heart desired as a kid, but also to look at the different perspective, the clarity of everything that did happen to you in your past. You get what I'm saying? Because you know, people think about the past and they don't even think about like, why it happened. Like, there's lessons about shit. So it's like when you actually learn the value of the lesson of it, that's how you can become more practical in that King of Pentacles energy. Okay, Virgos? And also the energy for the collective. Because I'm telling you, all of y'all needed to work on a fucking shop. I can't remember what Earth Signs had to work on, but I'm gonna remember. When I remember, I'm gonna tell you. Cause y'all need to work on a chakra. All right, Capricorn. And Capricorn's energy was why you. You know what? Boom. They just said it. Earth Signs needed to work on their third eye chakra. Mm-hmm. Or was that water signs? One of y'all. Cause it was. It was the fact that. Cause Capricorn. I remember. It. I remember them saying for Capricorn, why y'all worry so much? Nothing will come out of the situation if you worry. No, water signs was their heart. Water signs was their heart. Mm-hmm. Air signs was the crown chakra. Um, or uh, Fire signs was the root chakra, the bottom chakra of being grounded. Earth signs was the third eye and water was the heart. Mm-hmm. Now that I remember like a motherfucker. Yeah, earth signs, y'all need to work on y'all third eye chakra. Because you know what also came out in a lot of y'all readings um on Bigo? The um the like the card of like uh like ancestors, spirit guides and God and all that. Like the high priestess came out, the hierophant came out, the three of pentacles came out. You get what I'm saying? Y'all need to work on y'all third eye chakra. Capricorn, seven of pentacles. I told you, third eye. Third eye, can't make the shit up. Can't make the shit up. Like, cause everybody's like eyes was like closed in every like fucking picture or some shit. Capricorn, Capricorn. Yep, judgment and three of swords. Mm-hmm. It's all like higher self. Capricorn. is coming
<laughs> it's coming. The tower on the bottom of the day. Come on, y'all, stop playing. And it's you know what's even fucking crazier. You see when the Capricorns how they say why you worry so much? Okay, so this is why they said why you worry so much, right? Because that you got seven of pentacles, judgment, and three of swords, right? So, um, the worry is the three of swords energy of like feeling uneasy. Like that's why I said y'all need to work on your third eye chakra, okay? Like third eye chakra is like the, the chakra of like faith and you know what I'm trying to say? And like higher self and like divine spirit and stuff like that. Like one second. spiritual vision is clear i always follow and honor my intuition i see divine light in everybody i look at low energy situations from a higher self before i choose how to react that's what earth signs need to work on the third eye chakra hence why because this is why i say this okay you need to work on your intuition because judgment is here the paycheck from the universe is here but the universe is something you can't see but you can feel it right okay seven of pentacles the investments of what you have done and completed of what the things you're trying to manifest capricorns it's coming but you're gonna have to let go of this you strengthening your third eye will help you with this heart past heartbreak because you know it, it's like um somebody got you trust me do you trust me I don't know who that was, but you know what? I think that was Sag. And somebody, I'm telling you, somebody that has a Sag has Capricorn or Aquarius placement. I don't know. But the reason why I said it's coming, you, you, um, believing in your intuition, Capricorn, created the offer. It started Knight of Pentacles, and then it started the movement to it. Now, this isn't fast offering, but this is moving to us, but it's coming. Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. It's coming. You can't make this shit up. But all these pentacles, like you see the soil. Y'all see what I'm talking about with this soil shit? Y'all know what I'm talking about with the soil shit? I'm saying like, it, it's, it's like, it's, it's, you know, it's like right now, you know what I see? I see a plant that's like sprouting out and like some, you know, right before, like it becomes like, um, I see like a little, a little grape. Or no, I see like a little tomato, whatever, something fucking little, and then it's going to get big. And somebody said, it's coming. That's what I keep hearing, okay? All right, Capricorns. All right, Earth signs. Water signs. Water signs, y'all need to work in your heart chakra. You really do. Cancers. Cancers. How long have I been on? All right, 28 minutes. Yeah, I told y'all this is going to be a quick day we glitter. Because I already did this, honey. I might do some moonology and a prayer on um, for real for y'all like zodiac. I mean for y'all element. All right, cancer. Yep, this came out for cancer. Y'all, you you know why you know why they keep saying y'all need to work on your heart chakra. You realize that you need to work on your heart chakra because all the magic is within you. You get what I'm saying? Like, um, and I and I just did a reading for a girl that she's a cancer. And that came up like, you know what I'm saying? She said she had been watching like kid movies with her daughter and shit. And it made her feel good. Like, you know what I'm saying? It made her feel free. That's I'm telling y'all, cancers, like y'all need to y'all and, and also with cancers, what came up with cancers is y'all I'm telling y'all, y'all have a strong spirit guide, ancestor on your side. They and they watch you. What the, what, what the fuck did I just say? And Hierophant. Higher self. Spirits. Anything else for cancers? Anything else for cancers? Cancers. Eight of Pentacles. Come on. As y'all, new perspective. I'm telling you, water signs, you need to work on the heart chakra, sweeties. Earth 
earth signs, I mean water signs, you need to say, I am open to give and receive love. I love and accept myself. I forgive myself and others. I am fully open to love. My heart is full of love. You can't make this shit up. You have the magician, the two of pentacles, the fool, the hierophant, and the eight of pentacles. The magician, you know how the magician manifests and makes magic happen from their inside of their heart like Disney. It was everything that their imagination seen. Imagination is also tied into what the heart feels. The magician, you balancing that, that practicality of what you see, being in the emotions, bringing that into balance and starting to follow what your heart tells you, cancers, you start to take a leap of faith. Because I'm telling you, when you do shit from your heart, it's a sense of freedom. Taking a leap of faith, trusting the hierophant came out, trusting that you, your higher self, spirit, gods, God, Buddha, whoever you believe in, is going to continue to bring you in the eight of pentacles image of mastery. Learning something, learning how to move with your heart more cancer. You can't make this shit up. Your first card was magician. Didn't I just say the magic is in your hands with the with the hangman on the bottom of the deck, new perspective? You are love. Okay, Scorpio. Scorpio. That page of cups came for Scorpio in the first reading too. Scorpio. Oh shit. Two of cups. Yeah, I literally just got done doing y'all. <laughs> I'm almost done. I'm about to um, finish water signs and then I'm gonna post this. Anything else for Scorpio? It was on the bottom of the deck. I ain't gonna take it, but four four wands was on the bottom of the deck for Scorpio. Union within yourself. The fucking four of cups, nine of pentacles. Alright. So you guys have a new way of communicating your emotions, Scorpio. Um, or you're you're maybe trying to offer that new type of thing but it's coming from the heart okay page of cups seven of wands you're trying to secure it you're, you're in a secure place of it you see what i'm saying okay you see him sitting and you see his legs right it's it, i feel like that's like him ascending to a higher vibration right so then you ascending to that higher vibration which is that new feeling that new thought of emotions right has brought you to the seven of wands Seven of Wands is very secure. She literally is standing behind the wands with her hands closed. You know, she's in relaxing, but it's, she's in a crystal ball, right? Two of two of cups. The more you continue to follow that new feeling, Scorpio, and that new emotion, it is going to pour either into your cup and somebody else's, or your cup in the universe. And they're literally, you guys are working hand in hand with your higher self. When you do not work hand in hand with your higher self, it puts you in a state of four of pentacles and the fucking four of cups. Do not play like you don't see the cup from the universe with the things that your heart desires, Scorpio. Do not play with me, okay? Because you have the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, meaning you can reach the abundance. You can be free. You can have everything you fucking want. But if you continue to sit in the Four of Cups energy, it's going to place you in the Four of Pentacles energy, very secure, holding on to the pinnacle, not realizing what you have to offer is what your heart desires. That is how you get to the Nine of Pentacles. Y'all need to work on your heart chakra. I am open to receive love and give it. I love and accept myself. Mm -hmm. Pisces. Pisces. Why are you moving so fast, Pisces? That's why I just heard. Why are you moving so fast? Why so fast? Nine of Wands. Why 
so fast. Six of Cups. New book. That's why I just heard my head. New book. Thank you, Delta, for clarifying. New book. Hey, you know what? With y'all, with y'all working on your heart chakra, it allow your inner child to come out. You know why they said why you moving so fast? You have a new perspective, but you think you're confused. What, why would you think you're confused? You know why you think you're confused? What the fuck was that? Ooh. What the fuck was that? Anywho, you don't have to move so fast because you feel like you moving fast is causing confusion. You already had, okay. Before, before the, the, the Five of Swords was the last card to come out. Before that, you had Two of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Why are you moving so fast? You don't need to move so fast. Knight of Wands, you, the movement is here. Six of Cups, you following your heart is going to create that movement. I'm telling you, I don't see this card about living in the past. I see this card of realizing how happy he was as a kid. Like, like all these little cups are like the cups of like every every lifetime every generation every year or whatever that he's had full of things that made him happy he's still got the same dog he old is now he, he's older now he has the same dog you can create the knight of wands energy but you don't have to move so fast if you stop moving so fast with your new perspective and just allow your heart to lead you You'll be able to bring balance. The offer will be on its way and it will bring you to stability, Pisces. Indecisive. I don't know why I just said that, but indecisive. That's why I keep hearing indecisive. And you know what's crazy? On Monday, that was like one of the things I blurted out for Pisces. Pick something. You don't got to move too fucking fast. Trust yourself. I am open to give and receive love. I love and accept myself. I forgive myself and others. I'm fully open to love. My heart is full of love. You don't gotta move too fast when you move out of love, Pisces. Pick something, pick an option, bring balance to yourself. What do you feel is right? Okay? Goodness, heart chakra is giving me right now. Everybody, Go look up some fucking affirmations for the heart. Okay, I want you to screenshot it. I want you to write it down. I want you to say it to yourself three times. I don't care. But y'all need to. Everybody that I'm telling you, uh, earth, I mean, excuse me, fire signs, you need to work on your root chakra. Earth signs, you need to work on your third eye. Air signs, you need to work on your crown chakra. You guys need to work on your chakras because I know a lot of shit came up last week. A lot of shit even came up for me. Emotion wise, physically, it came up. But, and, and it's funny, I'm an Aries. I'm telling y'all, I needed to work on my root chakra. I needed to ground myself. It was one day that I don't, I can't remember what happened, but literally, it was like so many emotions just crashed in. I started crying. I couldn't even get my, I couldn't even, I couldn't even calm myself down. I had to go sit in the shower. I probably was in that bitch for like an hour. I needed to cry. But I, could, I was like, I don't even know where all these emotions is coming up. All this shit is coming up. So instead of me trying to fight it or instead of me trying to, you know what I'm saying, pull away and act like, you know what I'm saying, I don't feel that shit, I decided to just sit in the shit. And it grounded me. It, it made me feel more secure. It made me feel safe with myself to say, you were feeling something, felt it, you released it, you grounded yourself to get back together. Anytime you knock over fucking Lego or, you know, like a... I, feel, I always feel like the game where like you know where you've got the little wooden things and you poke one out what is it called Django or some shit y'all know what I'm talking about and you it all falls down you gotta bring it back up that's that's the energy that you got we're all in at this time because 
Leo season, Leo season, I'm telling y'all, Leo season was to do what your heart desired. Because you're about to step into Virgo season. And Virgo season, they're, they're more practical. Y'all know how I always fuss at Virgos because they want to have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So now that you know what your heart felt, you know what made you happy, you know what made you smile, you may know what made you laugh. In Leo season, for you to ignite what happened in your heart, now you're about to step into the fucking Virgo season of an earth of groundness and saying, look, this is what I like. This is the standard. Now here is the plan to go behind it. You can't make the shit up. Because I think after Virgo season, it's like Libra season, right? Balance. Being practical with the plan, bringing the plan into balance, every fucking season is it, 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 it follows what the sign is you get what i'm saying that's why the sun came out a lot sometimes because that's the energy of leo sun happiness bliss you can't make this shit up okay y'all make sure um social media spill um thank you so much for tuning into another daily glitter i know this was a really quick one um it was more quick and sweet real razzle dazzle today all right um, thank you guys for all your support, your love, everything. Make sure you guys are following at the Life Matician on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, all four social medias. You dig? Um, also, make sure you download Bigo, B I G O. You can um, add me, keep up with OG. I go live there. I've done readings on there. Today, I did a couple readings on there. And then I, um, I also did all y'all zodiacs on there, and the shit didn't say. So that's why I'm on Instagram now. But. Um, that is some of the some of the ways you guys can be able to see with me also interact with me get personal readings You get what I'm trying to say um, Also, if you are looking to book a personal reading like a longer session or a spread um, Please um, book linkets in the bio the prices have changed. I definitely have done some adjusting to my business um, I think that's about it. I love you guys so 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 much like y'all don't understand I really do love y'all and I really do want y'all to um, Love yourself really really love yourself this last week was a really, really harsh. You know what I'm saying? This week, take take your time. You know what I'm saying? I know last week I was really preaching about being patient. I was telling you to be patient because all the shit that was being washed up. Okay, all the shit that was starting to come on. You, all the little dirt that was starting to float back from the ocean. So you can take this week with that same patience and pick the pieces up. Realize that, oh my God, some of the shit that came from the ocean was seashells. You know what I'm trying to say? Oh my God, you found a fucking book. Like, you know what I'm saying? Opening your perspective of what has come. You know what I'm saying? Even the emotions that have come. You know what I'm saying? Are you are you being honest with yourself about how you feel about something? You know what I'm saying? Like, certain little triggers are going to come up again because it's certain things that you haven't fully healed from. Now, you've healed from it, but it's still an inner thing that you haven't healed from. So, you're now having to get to the root of the issue. Okay? And the reason why you're having to get to the root now is because Virgo season is coming and practical plans are needing to be put into place. Okay? Because Virgo season, Libra season. The scale's got to be balanced by then. So right now, you're doing a lot of back and forth, back and forth. Some days you're real good, everything's going great, and some days it's like, oh my God, what the fuck? Can't believe, oh my God, what the fuck? Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. They just keep saying, do what your heart desires, okay? Y'all have a great day. Um, happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Turn up. Eat some ice cream. Smoke a blunt. Drink some tea. Fuck with me tomorrow on Daily Glitter, okay? Mwah. Bye, y'all.